What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through how I cut in a panel, so let's just get right into it. Now before I even begin to enter any wires into the panel, the first thing I do is a circuit count. Trust me when I say that this will make your life a lot easier, so take a minute to count up all of your arc faults, 15 amps, 20 amps, and so on, and then divide them as evenly as you possibly can. After that, you can begin entering the Lumex into the panel on their designated side. And don't forget to keep track of what wire is for what as you're taking the jacket off. I do this by slipping the little jacket label back onto the wire after I've taken off the rest of the jacket. It is important in this step to be mindful of your arc fault circuits. You do not want your arc fault neutrals to get lost in the bundle, so I tend to slip the jacket around the neutral and the hot of my arc fault circuits. Once all of the jackets are off and everything is labeled properly, it's time to land the bonds. If you want your panel to look a little bit neater, it is important to unravel those bond wires so that they go directly towards the back corner of the panel. People are constantly asking me how I managed to get the wires so straight inside of my panels, and it's really easy. All I do is I run my hand down each wire before placing it. As you can see here, I am basically shaping the wire to naturally sit where I want it to. This little step is the reason that I don't need to use a ton of zip ties in my panel. Shaping your wires before placing them will force them to sit exactly where you want them to. So the bonds are done inside of this panel now and it's time to move on to the neutrals. Now because I did all of the work at the beginning of the video of tying my arc vault neutrals to my hots, this step is super easy. All you have to do is pull out the neutrals that do not have a label. When landing the neutrals, I follow the exact same steps that I did with the bonds. First, by unraveling the neutral wires so that they go directly towards the back corner of the panel. Second, by running my hand down each individual wire, shaping it in the direction I want it to go. And third, by creating a nice 90, starting at the bottom, working my way upwards. After that's all done, it's time to gather the rest of your wires and shape them towards the back corner of the panel. And this is also the part where I pull out my zip ties and I place one zip tie in the top corner of the panel. If your inspector does not approve of zip ties in your panels, I would recommend putting one in to land the wires under the breakers and then cutting it out at the end. Now because we did a circuit count at the beginning of this panel, we know exactly what breakers are going on this side. So you can go ahead and install the breakers. I like to have all of my arc fault breakers at the top and then I work my way down so that the largest breakers are closest to the main. So starting with the top breaker, I'm searching in the bundle of wire for an arc fault circuit. Once I got one, I like to reroute those wires so that they go towards the back of the bundle and I'm able to pull them up on the side of the panel. This is how I create those little loops that go down the panel. So as you can see here, the bundle is towards the middle of the panel and the loops are on the edge. And then I simply just work my way down, looking at what breaker is next, finding a circuit that works for that breaker, looping those wires towards the back of the bundle, and then pulling it up on the side, creating a small service loop. And just when you thought we were done, psych, there's a whole nother half of the panel to complete. But luckily for you guys, I am a pretty speedy electrician, so enjoy this real-time video of the second half. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electrical content. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video.